All right, hello everybody. Thank you for coming to the stream. Uh, I figured I'd leave the music going a little bit longer today. Just figured I'd get into the game at least. But anyways, well met, traveler. Need something? Oh, I, uh, wasn't talking when the music was going. I, <laughs> I know the music's loud, so I make sure I don't talk during it. But you should be able to hear me now, right? I'm all ears. Good. Fiddling with any locks around here, we're going to have a real problem. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. I ain't done nothing. Well met, traveler. Balathor, get in your freaking shop! Well, at least she's open. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Sorry, I uh, no, I saw that my mom posted an update about my brother right as I started streaming. So it's like, you great. Rather pale. Could be. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. So I'm just updating people about him because, yeah, it's great news. He's doing much, much better. Well, that's she, all she can buy. Any time if you need a remedy. Oh, he he's... My mom claims that he said hi, but that he only mouthed it. Uh, she got that claim from the nurse. Let me know if you see I personally don't put a lot of stock into things like that. But he is doing better. Sale, my friend. Everything. Vi Take a look. And, well, I simply... As far as I'm concerned, he's doing better. That's what matters. Maybe not quite what they're claiming he's doing, but he's doing better. I never use these health as increased potions.
Damn it, Bellathor! You're out of stock. Or out of money, not stock. Got plenty of stock. Anything that I'm particularly interested in, though. Exactly. I'm not going to tell my mom that she's full of it or anything. Ooh, that looks cool. I've got to go send a message to... Sorry guys, updating a couple people real quick. Again. Oh, and what does this character entail? Well met, Traveler. All right. Gotta do that still, but meh. And that. And that. And that, and that, and that. I'll do that, and this today. Or at least that's what I'll plan to do. As we all know, Skyrim has a wonderful tendency to be like, oh! Were you going to do this? Well, not anymore. There's a shiny new alternate quest over here. But anyways. Oh. That's what you were talking about before, yeah. Oh yeah, that's uh, the lack of fast travel is exactly why I wound up not doing it the first time. Instead of doing it, I discovered this cave right here and wound up getting dragged inside for a thing and it was like, okay. Uh-oh. That's a bear.
Wait, where's my... Oh. How did that not hit him? And here goes my horse to fight, apparently. This horse is a very, very brave, brave horse. This horse really needs to just step back. My kitty meows at me for that. I don't even know where my follower is now. Hey, right, there's a path over here. Hey, there he is. Speak of the devil. Running up to the... Oh. Do I want to get involved? Bandits and wolves. And other things, oh my. Oh. This guy's. Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. Hello there, friend. How lucky for you to chance upon a bard on the road. Ooh. Ah, well. After a little incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent thane. Well, let's just say there's no. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. Oh! Some may find their inspiration tucked away in tomes, or by carousing in the cities, but I find it here, in the vast expanses of Skyrim. Good day. Of course, none of them would have anything of particular value. Okay. I take that back. And I know, I don't want to kill them, but... Now, where the... Mm. Fuck it, I'll continue on foot. I think that's supposed to scare me away. Onward! Uh, what are these? These are valuable, why can't I get them? No, it's supposed to summon them. Well, 
fine then. This is one hell of a powerful bag. It does not move. I really hope all this stuff out here is just for show. Technically, I only need one head. Don't like the looks of this. Gee, thanks. Well, she didn't last long. Oh god, now she's headless. I didn't realize that they could actually do that with some things. Yeah, I'm sure there's some really nice loot. My question is, am I ready for it? <laughs> okay, which way do I want to go? Oh god, you scared me, you freaking... I will go this way first. One thing's for sure, they are very, very slow. Oh god! It's standing again! Ba -da -da -na -na -na. Skyrim physics. Shush you. Yes, I'm going for it. I don't really get a choice in the matter. If there's loot to be had, well, I'm a gamer and an adventurer. The loot must be mine.
I'm not a bard. What are you talking about? Are you trying to insult me? What are you talking about? Come get your little furry hiney on voice. the loot. The loot. Oh. As in the musical instrument. I see now. Yeah, it kind of loses it all there. Yeah. Just a bit. So she apparently knows that I'm a... Uh... Oh yeah, these guys are part of the companions. Never mind. <laughs> I, I thought that was a cool little feature that the game's like, Oh hey, it recognizes I'm a werewolf, so it mentions it later on. And Well, no, it was just that they are... Uh... It's part of the actual quest line, so of course they'd know. Come on, there's Wait. gotta be some actual loot in here. This High Raven was cheap. How do I get back out? There we go. The swim controls in this game could really be much better. I don't think they really expect many people though to go swimming in the snowy mountains. True. True, true. I mean, I wouldn't want to freeze off my fairy little butt going for a dip. Okay, now how many of them are there? There's some loot over there I can see, but I'll wait until I've killed them all. you snickering at? No, oh, just taking down the spiders in one hit. Oh, yeah. It's always satisfying to do that. Finally. Well, yeah. It quickly becomes that major achievement of you know you're doing well with the game when you can kill the spiders in one hit. go squish. Way too big a bug. Oh! Hi! Oh. Ow! That didn't 
quite go according to plan. I think it hurt us bad milfin, you them Sheesh. Just wandering along and shooting at them and next thing I know, a spider around the corner. Right. Ooh. Shinies. Potion ingredients. Though definitely not very shiny. Oh, this doesn't look good. I'm sure it's fine. Nothing to worry about this sacrificial altar. Ooh. Hello, chest. I want those, but they're light w armor. Fig. Hmm. I have to try and remind myself what's mod and what's not mods before I make comments. What do you mean? No, I was just going to say, but can't you actually add armor to them to make them heavier than before? No, wait, that's one of the mods I had. Oh. I went very lightweight with my mods this time. Uh, my roommate can definitely attest to how overboard I get with mods. Yeah, I have the same issue. I had so many mods that it was playable, but if I tried streaming it, oh, and it looked absolutely amazing, but if I tried streaming it, you, you, it would be too choppy. Yeah, for me, it's just stability issues. Well, yeah, those are always present, but I think it those are... It would be a game. Huh? It wouldn't be a Bethesda game if it wasn't. I know. I'm pretty sure they're built into it on purpose. This always just looks goofy to me, mine in a way. I don't know why. Yeah. It really does. I'm not sure if it's the animation, just the sheer, oh, I'm wandering around this random spot, I'm gonna mine.
you know, I try to keep religious views out of my updates and such, but lately my my mom definitely about my brother this is. But my mom definitely doesn't. I could definitely understand where she's coming from. I'm sorry, but when all of the doctors are telling you he's not gonna make it and you need to just give up and he's making it there's something more than just doctors at play here. Well, I remember one story which I was once told actually by a priest. And that is sometimes no matter how far someone is gone when they're sick, they can still hear you. Yeah. And sometimes just hoping for someone to come back, religious or not, praying to God, praying to whatever, it's not so much your a higher power, it's just you winning them back, you telling them they need to be here. That's that is possible. I mean, all I know is the doctors gave up. They really did. The kidney doctor re outright refused to put in the permanent port for his dialysis. Oh, hi. He, he refused to because he he didn't say it, but he gave the idea of he thought it was a complete waste of time. Hey, I killed them all finally. And it's just been one of those ongoing things, and we're just happy he's getting better. Or at least I'm just happy. I don't care who's doing it, I'm happy he's getting better. <laughs> exactly. My cousin's currently yelling at me for some reason because I'm copy-pasting her posts, and there's religious stuff in there, and... He's like, I wish she'd stop doing that, rah, rah, rah. and it's like, what does it matter? <laughs> Something's going right. Big whoop. She, exactly. <laughs> if she wants to give the credit to God, that's her choice. I definitely can understand not giving it to the doctors, because like I said, they gave up. I've noticed that all of the armor that you get with uh, good carry weight on it, it's always light armor. I have yet to find heavy armor with good carry weight, and it's like, come on! I could kind of use some help with this heavy-ass freaking armor! You're a big, strong Khajiik. You can carry it. I'm an Argonian. Well, in my defense, I've yet to actually see you without the helmet, so... Oh. Well, yeah, you weren't here for that session. You weren't here for a lot of sessions. No. I I'm already know. here tonight for medical reasons, so... <laughs> Uh oh, what's wrong? I uh, have just ongoing problem I have. Okay. Vague explanation is vague. <laughs> well, you're me if I'm not we're really. Also... Yeah, I'm not exactly keen on talking about my medical issues on a live stream. Yeah, that's what I realized. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah! 
Okay. But I'll probably tell you in a text or message at some point. Moro! You made it! <clears throat> What's up, Craigs? Why are you so pissed over box elder bugs? All right, now that that's clear. To Dragon's Leech. My kitty wants attention. Hey, if you want attention, you gotta come over here. Human, you expect me to put effort into you giving me attention? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yes, I'm familiar with box elder bugs. All about you and your honeyed words. Okay, kill it. With fire. It's not like those things resist so much. They finally had the nerve like to fire. attack your basket. Oh! They got most of them, but I think a few stragglers made it out. Oh, fuck. Hi, kitty. The silver hand. These two are the finally had the nerve. Attack your bastard. This is uh We got most of them. Yeah. I think if you the silver hand. They Dude, shut they up before I kill you. These two aren't the we got anymore. most of them, but I think a few stragglers made it out. How could they make... I'm sorry, but where's the Whiteburn guard? How the hell could they have made it into the city, all the way over here, without any fight? There should be corpses everywhere. Kitty cat. And what responsible way was that? Hairspray and a lighter? I've actually done that for a spider that was dangling in midair. It kept going up and down, up and down, <laughs> almost taunting me. Where have you been? I made the mistake of doing that to a cockroach once. Cockroaches don't die for crap. I know. <sighs> They're worse than frickin' uh, horse flies. I was on holiday in America, staying at a cheap hotel. Or I suppose a motel. Cockroach problems. Didn't think about it. Yeah, my dad's place. Thankfully, they're actually pine roaches. They're still basically the same thing, but at least it's not a sign of your place is a piece of shit. <laughs> Anyways, story stuff, so I'm going to mute myself for a bit. I hope it was important. Because it means you weren't here to defend him. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack Yarvaskar. We fought them off. But the old man, Godlack, he's dead. No, but they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. 
there will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak, and they will know terror before the end. I'll head back home if you need me. We're going to make them pay. Well, I did not. I'd be dead if not for Vignar. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. I, I, I did not see this coming. But it's not my fault I wasn't here. Gosh. Of course it is. You're the main character. Nothing happens unless you're here. I know, right? Oh, our dragon's taking over the world. Well, they'll just sit here and wait for me to go fishing and other stuff. Because, <laughs> heaven forbid, we can't do it ourselves. I know, right? We're only this large standing army. This is so horrible of me. Well, so didn't they say that no one else was hurt? They did. Oh, they won't let me search him. Well, fuck him. Since I'm here in town, I might as well take their stuff that I normally would leave behind just to sell it. But they please tell me he's not sitting down to actually start eating his dinner while all the bodies are on the floor. I know, right? <clears throat> NPC logic. Wow, Quiggs. Did you notice Quiggs' response? I did. <laughs> that was actually good, Quiggs. That was good. God be praised. I can't really comment considering I didn't pay that much more for it, so. <laughs> Needless to say, I learned an important lesson, which is never stay in a motel. That's cheap. So did they rear up and bite you? The roaches? Yeah. Well, after I set one on fire and it was still scurrying around on fire, I pretty much packed up my stuff and left. Ah. I didn't want to discover what else I'd find in this uh, motel room. Or what would find me. I have a call coming in. I will be right back.
part of no put me on your do not call list. Do you not understand? You're someone who can grumble. Done. The part where we <clears throat> sell your number to other people so they can call because you didn't say we couldn't do that. I hate you sometimes. The hell did I get a Hope goblet? My tongue out. Ow, cat! Somebody look up this hilt of Maroon's razor, please. Actually, you do it, since you're on the call here. Oh, I see. This is what I'm here for now. Yep. Hmm. Apparently, I have a stolen wooden bowl. I like that. Okay, so, like I said, Skyrim likes to be like, likes to basically, oh, is this what you were going to do? Nope, not anymore. Now, instead of going and recruiting this other lady for whatever it is, now I'm going off to kill all of the Silver Hand. If I can figure out where they are. There they are. It's part of a quest called Pieces of the Past. Huh. And it's... You're meant to talk to Silas in Dawnstar. Which is where I'm going right now. And there's two other pieces to find. But I'm not going to tell you that because yeah. I don't want to make it that easy for you. All I know is I looted it and... I work for the Wind Peak Inn. You should head on inside. Cat. Claws. Hurt. Painful. Ow. At least tell me where this Silas person is since I'm here. Quicksilver mine is um, mine in Dawnstar. And you can tell those ironbreaker miners I said so. Du, du, du. He lives in a museum in Dawnstar within his own home. It's about the mine. Oh. I'm all ears. Okay then. Houses a number of mystic dawn artifacts. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsider. Now we've got mercenaries from Hamburg. It looks like, according to the map, it's up in the top left in its own little uh, alcove. Uh, probably this right here. Start at a strange time, friend. Seems everyone in the town is having nightmares. Been tending your hounds? You smell like a wet dog. Okay, not that house. If you bring up the map, I could probably... Oh, I can just look from here. Doesn't bother me. Well, it's not next to anything else for as far as I can tell. I was told you're just gonna wander around looting anyway, so you spoony bard. Heard about what you did, killing those foul witches. Well done, companion. How the hell did you hear about that already? Well, the map. Oh wait, there's a local map. That's right. Yes. Okay. So apparently I've got to explore 
all the way around. It's up in that, yeah, close to the near Mortar and Pestle. If you go straight up from there. Fruki's house. The mortar and pestle? Oh, okay, over on the other side. Yeah, just up from there, right where it loops round. Hey, midnight! <clears throat> I'm working on the map thing, mostly. Okay, seriously? Is it the Dread Coast? Oh, that's a ship. I have no idea where it is, but... There's not that house up there. Straight ahead. Oh, that one? I'm wondering if it is. Uh, let's find out. Silas, yes, but it's locked. So, which means he's somewhere else here, and I don't care to explore any further, because I'm going to go kill those freaking silver hands. Bastards. Where's my horse? There it is. Meh. I can outrun you. Aha. Uh -huh. Stop taunting the puppy. Okay. I think I need to go this way. Yes. This way we go along. Ooh, or. Or not. No, it's just or. What do you mean in combat? Really? You remember that wolf? There we go. Now what the heck? Eh, my horse can deal with it, I'm sure. At least long enough for me to finish that. Oh, hi. Yeah, my hand went deep into that thing. That's what she said. Really? She's into fisting, huh? <laughs> A 
And now all that's coming to my mind. Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, I'm not going to try crowd running you. Why did my... I don't know. Oh, hey, Ice Wraith. that. No! All right. What the heck just happened? Well, that's an interesting uh, glitch. <laughs> And I'm now in the ground. Uh, that's a very interesting glitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bethesda, I, why'd you make the best glitches? I can't dismount! <laughs> I am the horse now. <laughs> Unfortunately, Midnight, that is very true sometimes. <laughs> By the way, if you want to join me on voice, you're welcome to. Uh, there's a link in the channel description. Okay. I'm very broken. You cannot fast travel while jumping or falling. Okay. Uh, once you're in the Discord, I'll need to give you permission to get in the join the channel. Just so we don't have random people coming in, but... I think you're actually part of it already. I don't see ya. Let's try going to... I think it's completely broken. the heck happened? Let's try reloading. Okay, well, at the least, hopefully if I go to white run, it'll force me to dismount and hopefully fix it. Uh, optimism. And if nothing else, I just reload back to before it broke on me. Hey, it fixed. <laughs> I can see myself again. All right. Now back to Dawn, actually. I'll go to this red road pass because, well, it's right there.
Now, do I want to risk you again? We take risks in letting me come back into the stream, so we know you're a risk taker. <laughs> Only slightly, my dear. Only slightly. I invited Midnight to join me. I mean, come on. The phrase, what could possibly go wrong, comes to mind. Oh, I think you two will get along great. Exactly. Everything can go wrong. I need to get back into Guild Wars 2 again. After all that drama with it. Fun game. Except when you're playing with crazy people. I need to actually see, get my account reset for that. Lost Steam account? How did she lose it? It ran out of Steam. No, I'm good without chaos, thank you. But yeah, Midnight, I could totally stream our adventures in, uh... Oh. Let me off the horse so I can kill this bastard. Your adventures in let me off the horse so I can kill this bastard. That seems like a very specific story. <laughs> in Guild Wars 2. Really? My horse went up there to attack her? About to shoot her an egg horse. How the? Oh, that's how you got up there. I'm just sitting here like, oh, I probably can't get up there, so I'll just shoot her. And well, and you're broken. My horse can get up there, but the humanish werewolf guy can't. I propose we change his name to Moon Moon. Moon. <gasps> oh, there's probably, you know what? There's probably a mod that already does that. I mean, this is Skyrim we're talking about. Yes. Renames it. The mod probably renames all the companions to Moon Moon. Seems appropriate. Change all the dragon shouts so damn it, Moon Moon. Oh, they've got new Living World content? Actually, I don't think I ever finished the old Living World content.
Why do I have the feeling I'm walking into a trap? I wonder indeed. Is it the long narrow corridor, the foreboding atmosphere, or maybe just maybe because it's a uh, Skyrim? Is someone there? I've got an arrow sticking out of me, but I'm not sure that somebody's here. Ow! Focus, get out of the way! I can't go zapping people when you're sitting in between me and them. Before we agree, it's moon moon. Oh yes, moon moon. You know, that name makes it all make sense. I'm not going to go through that door yet. Go check everything else first. There's a little side room over here, so let's go in here. Wow. I think I hit him in the heart. Shot through the heart! And, and I'm to you. blame. I give love. I don't know. <laughs> That's about all the steam I've got. Okay. Nothing but... Ooh, that's... Why is there human flesh in there? I'm sure it'll turn into a great potion. Mm. Aw, was it so good that you don't want to hear anything else ever again? Normally it would have been better, except I've got a sore throat. And I'm a little scared to go to the doctor because, well, I would kind of have to tell them that I was exposed to MRSA. And yeah, I don't want to spend the next God knows how long in isolation. Oh, you should have kept the lusty Oregon made up. I would have read it out loud for us. If you were going to read the lusty Argonian made out loud, that would have been fun. We'll have to do that during one of these. Hey! MRSA, it's actually M-R-S-A, um, basically it's a highly, MRSA is a highly, uh, 
drug resistant strain of staph infection. Unfortunately, my brother had it and, well, he didn't actually contract it, but he carried it. And, well, before the hospital found out, we kind of were around him a lot. So, it is entirely possible that I caught it. Okay. Interesting armor. Hmm. Can't say I've ever seen that armor before. I've got a mod, uh, immersive armors. Hmm. I like it because it doesn't, at least as far as I'm aware, it doesn't add anything overpowered. It. It more instead just adds variety to armor. Yeah, it's a mod I use as well. It's just one of those ones I thought. It's it's nice to be to see enemies in different armors than all of them wearing the exact same crap. Exactly. Especially bandits and such, because I'm sorry, but they're not all going to wind up with the exact same stuff. No. There isn't a bandit's uniform. <laughs> exactly. It's, I've got whatever I've got, and that's what I'm going with. There we go. Witch plate gauntlets. Those look freaking cool. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> monk mage is going to need those. I thought you weren't going to have armor. No, I'm just not going to use weapons. Oh. I'm not that sadistic to try and play Skyrim without armor. <laughs> That works. They're the exact same as my current armor, and my current armor is upgraded. It's like being Wolverine, but not being Wolverine. Shink. <laughs> All right. Oh, I want my crossbow. I love the crossbow because it hits hard. But the problem is it's got such a slow reload that most of the time they're already right on top of me before I can shoot again. Unless I notice them from really far away. 
Damn it, Moon Moon, get out of the way. Or that. <laughs> Hey, he took an arrow to the knee. Sorry, I find that funny. <sighs> yeah, I guess technically it was a bolt. But yeah, that's right. It, well, actually, it's floating, but... <laughs> depending on where you look, it's right in the knee. Poor guy, never got to wake up. Well, it's his fault for being part of the Silver Hand. And I was gonna attacking say. us. I mean, if they didn't attack us, we would have just kept on going. Our own little way. We had our vengeance for the one guy getting killed by them. This is one hell of a thick door. Yes, Good I am grief. subject to ooh shiny moments. You know, one of these days I kind of want to actually go into a uh, keep like this that's actually intact and not run down. <laughs> or it'd be nice if you could actually take over the keeps once you clear out all the enemies. That would be cool too. Be able to Hire an turn it into my. Hire it. Exactly. You got in my freaking way! Damn it, Moon Moon. Okay, I'll let you just kill that. Watch it, brother! Well, maybe if you didn't run in front of me. Songs of the Return. Turn of what? That is a very valuable piece of armor. Yoink. <laughs> Don't judge me. As you hop into the harvesting. Oh yes. Gotta harvest all that stuff. Makes good food. Huh? Shh! We're supposed to be very... Very 
quiet, Moon Moon. We are sneaking. And how do I open this? Oh. The giant lever next to it. <laughs> Boss fight! No, 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 no. It's... It's more like this. Piper's showdown. Pipe is or with a new head advertisement head first. <laughs> this. Well, you are with Moon Moon. <laughs> Why aren't you fighting? Okay, enough of the music before it gets copyright blocked. <gasps> Seriously, Moon Moon? Shove my arm sword into nothing. <laughs> yes, it definitely did. Unlock everything. Why does he have two werewolf pelts? Is he double the werewolf? And there's an auto save every time I go through a door like that, so no need to say You okay? Hmm? Wherever you are looking. Apparently, he wanted to bring my attention to that pull bar really bad. Okay, I know we were called you Moon Moon, but I wasn't expecting you to live up to it that much. I know, right? It was meant as a joke, buddy. Try to be at least a little competent. Please? Maybe? I'm seeing cages and leather. What did they get up to here? Everything. Oh my. That's interesting. I'll take the mead. Gotta have something to party with later, right? I do not trust that ceiling. <laughs> the rear guard.
hard. Oh, wow. Another book for me to read. I doubt it's funny. It taught me better light armor, so probably not. What is the most light armor re leather? Mm -hmm. How did I... How do you not see me? <laughs> Wait, was it just me or did it sound like she said Moon Moon when she died? Great, now the game's even aware of our joke. <laughs> oh, there, it's very much aware. Otherwise, why would he be standing there while somebody's smacking him with the sword? There's a werewolfy. Don't want any of that. I'm gonna let you out. You're probably gonna attack me and I'll have to put you down. But I prefer if you'd not attack me. Okay? Okay. Yeah, you're gonna attack. But it was better than leaving him in there. Seriously, why was why were they keeping him alive? I thought they wanted to kill him. But they put food in there for him. Yeah, probably should try and do experiments. Probably. Find more effective ways of killing. Find out which poisons work on a werewolf. The moon moon experiments. Yes. <coughs> Actually, it looks like that's more accurate than we realized. <laughs> I'm sorry, but those little clasps would never be able to hold this thing. Look at it. Look at the size of that. That ankle there. And look at the size of that clasp. There was no way it could have hold him. Held him. But I guess that's what those other chains are for then. Anyways, moving on. I'm just thinking this place would be even more perfect to move into. It's even got the bondage dungeon. Oh god. Oh, hi! Really, Moon Moon? <laughs> For fuck's sake! Yes, you would know what the bite of a flea feels like, wouldn't you? The experiment failed. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Definitely was not a successful one. Oh, where's my healing?
anything to loot? No, no. Well, why not? I want stuff to loot. Give me stuff to loot. Ooh, hi. <laughs> well, that seemed to work. Ah, it did. There's another section of this? Huh? Of course. Oh, well, it looks like a very short one. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that. Aww, you're a little one. Oh, Bob, what'd you expect? valuable. Yes, please. Boiled chitin heavy armor. I don't know if I like the way it looks or not, but... Ooh. Ah, crap. You won't actually trade. You're not a pack mule. Moon Moon, you are useless! Damn it, Moon Moon. Okay. is I don't want to get rid of that heavy armor because it's quite valuable hi Casey welcome to the stream The desperation of being overburdened and just what can you get rid of? I know. I don't like it. I've got a ton of those. And he walks around the corner and finds something he wants. Shush. I'm pretty. 
pretty sure that's already going to happen. Yep. <laughs> I don't need horse meat, especially if it weighs two pounds. What if you need to cook your lasagna? Why would I need horse meat for a lasagna? Uh, what kind of country do you live in? <laughs> a country where they accidentally put horse meat in a lasagna at a major supermarket. Really? Yep. Well then. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. The Adventures of Moon Moon and Friends, Cassie. What do you mean, Casey? Oh! I was I came in here, and I'm like, I'll save that door for later. And so I take a side route going through all of this, and apparently I couldn't have even gone through that door if I wanted to. Which one of you is Moon Moon again? Don't you even try it. Aren't you glad I came in for the stream? Yes, yes I am. Uh, I don't have a specific name for it. Um, I run the stream as part of ZGF Gaming, but um, aside from that, not really. No, basically just Skyrim do and whatever I'm doing at that time like this time I started off retrieving a witch The closest I get to branding is ZGF gaming Okay. Now that that's clear. First things first. White run and go sell all this crap. You mean call it to merchandise? That's what I call it for their sake. In reality, it's crap. The others. Probably prepared Codlex funeral by now. The others have probably prepared Codlex funeral by now. Come up to the sky forge to pay your respects. Okay. Bye. Just Got some good takes to off. I don't claim to looking to protect yourself. God deal some damn damage. it, Moon Moon. <laughs> okay. I do not... I already have flames, so... 
I'll sell that. That's another flame fun, so sell it. I upgraded and enchanted and did all this stuff to my pickaxe. Just because I can. I'm sorry, I but I love that. I, I love the fact that I put fear on it, and so if I decide to wield it in combat, I'm gonna make people run away from me in fear because I've got a pickaxe. I find it funny. Well, <clears throat> bad pun warning. Ask yourself this question: Would you pick a fight with someone wielding one? Probably. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Yay! I decided to keep my regular gauntlets because they are... They weigh a lot less. I ain't done nothing. I ain't accusing you of anything. I hope your parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason to be. I swear, I walk past her every time I come up on to the second level. Every time. Who will stop? I'll do it. Before the ancient flame. We grieve. Oh, wow. Even the Jarls here. We, we weep. We weep. For the fallen, we shout. And for ourselves, we, we take, take our leave. And you're just there saying, I really need to use the forge right now. <laughs> Actually, I could use it. <laughs> Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I had to see if I really could. I was ready to try and screenshot it. You what? I was ready to try and screenshot it. <laughs> Do you have the fragments of Uthrad still? I'll need to prepare them for mounting again. Don't get too flowery on me, lad. Of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. Of course you do. There's another piece that Kodlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. Thank you. I'll be here. Not now. Leave me. You guys walked past me. Let me stew alone. Well, he went back to foraging immediately. <laughs> Am I supposed to be in here? I don't actually know. Apparently not. Let me stew. Alone. Leave me. Yeah, apparently not. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> Would explain why I got myself a uh, quest to go in here and loot through the old guy's belongings. I wonder if I can take anything I want. Well, you can, but... Well, I mean, if it'll be counted as stealing. <coughs> what? Well, that's still counted as stealing.
Steal from. Steal. Steal. Steal, steal. Oh, this I can search. And I can have that. And that. And that. Oh, hey, he's got one of these. And the rest is all steel. Okay. Can't even steal his last meal. His sweet roll? Mm-hmm. No, but the guard will get mad at me if they if I do. I was the newest companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. Just means I can show you the way. Is he naked now? Yeah, he's naked. Well then. You're back. Well, yeah, you told me to. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Seriously, see. how do these guys Seriously, find you? Up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Seriously? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Really? I was trying to find that stupid museum, and now I get an invitation to it? <laughs> okay. Well, on the plus side, it should give you a quest marker. Alright. So Gotta be quiet now for the story stuff. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him. Godlack did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Godlack, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Godlack used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without you, Thrag. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken, and repaired. He snapped. Repair the blade? This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield brothers. The flames of Hero can reforge the shattered. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Ysgrimor, for Kodlak. Okay. So now I've got a two handed weapon that I'm supposed to use, apparently. With zero training in how. Oh, this will be fun. Ooh, that is valuable. Oh good, it's a quest item, so it doesn't count against my carry weight. <laughs> I had to check, sorry. I'm just loving the whole, ooh, I could sell this. Well, it's 2,000 gold, okay? <gasps> Can I unenchant it? I am a horrible person. Oh, 
horrible person, but a great furry. True, true, true. And how long are you going to be carrying around those witches' heads? I don't know. I can't get rid of them. I'm stuck with them until who knows when. I'm just picturing you walking around with those five heads just hanging off your belt. <laughs> I can't get I can't take them out of my inventory. They're quest items. So what you're saying is I can go ahead and unenchant it, right? And steal that enchantment. Right? As the old saying goes, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Just because you shouldn't doesn't mean you can't. Where are you? Whoa! Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, hey, you brought me exactly what I wanted. I've been wanting a, uh, a the uh, shocks enchantment, the electricity enchantment for a while now. And, well, he brought it to me. How considerate. You're someone who can get things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that. I got it. Now, why weren't you protecting my house better? Um, I like that. Can't use that while in combat. It's like, why the hell am I in combat? Nope. Can't disenchant Boothrad. Can I add an enchantment, though? Nope. But... This... With that... Actually... Yeah, that's because I don't have... That upsets me. The fact that I apparently filled a grand soul gem with a lesser soul. Biggest waste. Yeah. Oh, hey, I've got a greater soul gem. I'll use that. When it comes to weapons, all it is is just... I don't have one yet. Let's see. Dwarven Zapper. Don't make fun of me and my weapon names. You're just jealous. Yes, I'm jealous of your Dwarven Zapper. <laughs> See? You admitted it. And I like to... The fact that when I say it, you laugh as well, so... I have no idea what you're talking about. I love it. I'm sitting here... Literally just standing here for nine hours while the others of the companions are 
over at wherever it is we're supposed to be going. Just sitting there like, where the heck is he? Hello, kitty. Get over here so I can sell this junk to you. I don't know why she comes out of the back of her house. Back door action. Hardy har. Got some good pieces out here if you look in the back. I don't claim to be the. Take a look. You have no gold left. You are worthless to me. But well, maybe you can buy one or two things. You don't have any bolts. Really? It's like the one thing I needed. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. You're worthless. Worthless, I tell you. Um, uh, I'd have to check, Casey. I might have just broken my game, but what are we? Yes, I got your message. Uh, let me promote you. Where are you? There you are. All right, Casey, you're good to go on voice. muted at the moment. Oh, yeah. You have oh. to... Oh, yeah. Hello. Sorry. Immersive armor mod is really cool. Yes, it is. Makes me want to buy Skyrim for the PC or for the Mac or PC or whatever, just for that mod. Yeah, they won't let you. God, mods well, on console are so picky. Yeah, I haven't bought. Uh, I haven't bought the mod for for the remastered version for my Xbox yet, so I don't even know if they have a special on the edition. One. They do. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean the the mod, the immersion immersive armor mod. Everything's for sale, my. Oh, I can't this. imagine playing Skyrim and not having mods. Ah, you've got bolts. Didn't really want to sell that, but oh well, it works.
Oh, I forgot to store all those. Oh well. Do come back. All right. Where the heck am I supposed to be going now? Actually, quests. Glory of the to glory. Well, and I don't think you can get rid of those uh, those heads until you either give them to uh, Marcus, I think, or I think some of them will stay in your inventory forever. Well, as long as they count as quest items, it doesn't matter because they don't count as any weight. Because that's how you would uh, remove your lycanthropy if you so were so inclined to. But I don't really know how to even remove it because they don't really actually tell you how to do it. I've never actually done it, so... Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh, steady. All right. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Really? Let's see here. A note from someone named Halselmo in Markarth. Looks oh like wow. This again. Go. What again? The courier. Oh, yeah. To go. Razim, it has come to my attention that you may have recently acquired a certain dwarven bolt from Belathor's general goods. I'm not sure how such an object came to find itself resting there, but I've been trying to obtain one for my research. If you still have it, or if not, find another one. I would be most appreciative if you were to bring it to me here in Markarth. I will pay handsomely. Sincerely, Kasumo. Oh. Interesting. Weird. Who the hell is stalking me to know that I bought bolts? The Coria. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere and nowhere. We're getting some uh, feedback and echo from you. Oh, okay. Casey. Sorry about that. Ugh. Intending to your hounds? We're fine, just uh, switch to push to talk and it should be fine. Is that a function on here? Discord? Yeah. Uh, you go to... You go down to the user settings at the bottom, then to voice. And then you can switch from input mode from voice activity to push to talk. User settings is at the bottom of underneath the list of where you found us to talk. The gear shape. Yes. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Okay, now what's the best way to get down there? Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. Ooh, or 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 or. Hey, why isn't my crossbow glowing? Hi. Okay, I 
trying to figure out how to get the uh, thing to play. What thing to play? Uh, cause I didn't know how to, it required me to hit, hit, hit a button shortcut and I couldn't figure out how to... How to what? Alright. It really is a very awkward mining animation. It is. It is. It's so out of place as well. It's always out of place. He's a fox! Am I going to have to get to the top of that mountain? Is it game? What do you think? Ugh. It's the Bethesda game, so you will have to climb up some walls. Mountains. It wouldn't be so bad climbing up mountains, but you know there's going to be no direct staircase. It's going to be a long labyrinth of tunnels. Because it's a Bethesda game. Exactly. Uh-oh. Now somebody's posting on my Facebook some kind of Disney gif. Please don't bite me, fishies. I just want to grab you out of the water because, you know, you don't swim away from me any or anything. And what now we've become Gollum. What was that you just put in the uh, channel? That's weird. Um, I actually realized that's the uh, chant for the Dark Brotherhood. I thought I, I found somebody posted it, and it was a creepy little thing, and then I realized, wait a minute, those words are the chant for the summoning the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah. And so then I'm like, well, it's relevant, so post. By the way, everyone, um, make sure that you guys are part of the Telegram channel um, for updates, or at least following me on Twitter. Uh, I've got links to everything in the description on the channel here. Uh, you can just go ahead and go get whatever you want to go follow on. Whatever works best for you. Check the description. Oh! Hi! Jeez! I, I won't lie, that startled me. I don't know who you are, Argonian, but I'll gladly take all of your stiff. Man, 
man, after all this, I might have to go back to my house to store stuff again. Apparently this guy, it looks like he was studying the skeevers for whatever reason. And wound up getting a bit more than he bargained for. Well, at least he was nice enough to do it in the middle of nowhere, so he didn't cause some horrible incident in town. Yeah. What was that ring of his? It's not even enchanted? What the heck? Something tells me it's some part of a quest that probably won't reveal itself to me until... Somebody's like, please go find this person. Oh, you mean the one that owned this ring? Yeah, I found it a while back. I was thinking about selling it to Bellathor, but thought I'd hang on to it for a bit. <laughs> well, it's better than the awkwardness of, oh, please, you need to find our family heirloom. This valuable ring that's been in generations. The one I sold for five gold. I know, right? <laughs> Okay, those guys are going to be a problem. Maybe. Did you just dodge my shot? What I'm saying, that in time, you will need to dodge bolts. Okay. They're definitely coming to kill me now. Oh, they got distracted by workers. I so misheard that. And what did you hear? They got distracted by hookers. <laughs> Ooh. Chinese. A garnet. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to go back to my house. Peter, 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 here I am. More ore. It's 
So, I am practically right on top of them. Or, most likely, underneath. I got 75 pounds left that I could... Of inventory space. I don't like these odds. Oh, this is it. Question is, are they going to be outside or inside? Okay, now that I've discovered this, back to my house. <clears throat> hey, loot is important. And managing inventory space is a nightmare. That's true. Like I said, I've played with the no fast travel mod. That's just cruel to yourself. And the immersive one where you have to eat, sleep, drink, and stay warm. I don't like the stay warm one because it was broken, but the rest of that I do. I do like. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. This was not here before. The bed or the room? The bed. <laughs> Any of these beds. Uh, and most of this was not. Okay. So apparently she really will furnish everything when you pay her to do so. It just takes time for everything to be here. Which means I probably wasted a lot of resources in here. Oops. Oh, yeah. No, I was going to say, you can get plenty more resources. Yeah. Ingredients. Store all these. Some of these things sound absolutely lovely when they go in there. I wouldn't know. I haven't got the sound on the stream on, so... Why not? Because then I have to hear you twice. Oh, true. Okay, I guess I can understand that. <laughs> and even worse, I have to listen to myself. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I will stick all of my extra foodstuffs in there. Keep that, because that's actually cooked. Hello again! I'm back. Yeah, I had to. I was downloading the. Uh, downloading. 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 Downloading the voice chat on my computer instead of just using the sort of browser. Oh, browser. good idea. Yes. I need to have a cooking session here shortly. Cooking with Skyrim Zim. <laughs> 
Today on the show, we'll be showing you how you can make use of all that mammoth steak you're carrying around with you. Oh, the mammoth steak is cooked. Just be glad I wasn't mentioning the pheasant breasts. Holy crap, I've got a lot of salmon. Hey, Shizu, if you're watching, look how much salmon I got. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so I've stored everything that's not... That's not cooked, and it freed up about a hundred pounds of storage. Yay. Okay, apparently that's not part of a quest. Somebody look that up. If I can find it. Where the heck is it? Eyeless Tay's Ring. What, uh, what, what was it? Eyeless Tay's Ring. Let me pull it up. Oh, we've got another joiner. Hello? Did someone perform the Black Sacrament? Oh, hello, Icarit. <laughs> Welcome. I was summoned. You were summoned? So you got what that text on the picture I shared meant? I'm a Dark Brotherhood fan. Yeah, I didn't realize at first. I shared it with a friend because it looked creepy as heck. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait a second. Those are the words for summoning the freaking <laughs> Dark Brotherhood. Yes. The, the Black Sacrament. Why oh, have you summoned me? Well, good to know that that's how I get you to come here. So it's a part of an unfinished quest. An un it's a, yeah, it's a part of the uh, Lost Apprentices quest that was uh, canceled before the game could ship. So it, it has no use to you at all. Well, that's lame. What does? Holy crap, what is my phone is just blowing up. I told you not to get the note. <laughs> Actually, I, I do have a note. Times. Huh? You should stop dying. Oh, shush. You know, the Dark Brotherhood might be able to help with that. Oh, God. No gods. That's no what gods. happened. Just the Dark Brotherhood. A friend made a group chat and added me to it. That's always fun. I'm going to mute it for two days. Okie doke. I got group notification turned off on uh, Telegram because I'm a part of like 10 freaking groups or something. Yeah, Those I always mute keep... them. I mute the special ones. Or I unmute the special ones even. <laughs> okay. Okay. You guys should be sharing the stream, by the way. Share it with everybody. So I can grow and get bigger. And better. Whoa, yeah. now. Whoa, now. Well, 
What? Want to get bigger? That's something you know. You can do. Uh, you know. Low now. One one deer gets bigger. Frustrates doctors everywhere. Find out how. Only you would save a witch's head. <laughs> it's part of a freaking quest. No, no, no. Only Zim would save five witches' heads. I can't. Part of a quest. God. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Still. You've got to appreciate him carrying around all of those things. He's head and shoulders above the rest of it. What? Could you imagine just walking around and suddenly you see a guy walking around with freaking five heads just hanging off of his belt? That's exactly what he said earlier. Great minds do think alike. Hey, hello there, adventurer. I see you got a pack of heads. This is the resting place of really need to get ahead of this situation. Trusted generals, you should be cautious. Cardlack was right. I let vengeance rule oh. my heart. We're a part I of the companions now, of aren't we? Drift shade, but I can't go any further with my Hang on, guys. Bogged. The original companions, their finest warriors, rest with Isgramor. You'll have to prove yourselves to them. It's not that you're intruding. I'd wager they've actually expected us. They just want to be sure that you're worthy. Be ready for an honorable battle. Return Wuthra to Isgramor. It should open the way. Honorable battle to the death. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Oh, yes, I mm -hmm. put that on my phone. Part of me regrets it. Hey, Ikrit, there's buzzing. Okay. He totally just spawned on top of me. That is pretty grateful you've now got a whole pack of moon moons with you. I will kill you. Oh wait, never mind. I could kill you, but in reality, I'd only be killing whosoever character you're playing as this week. So that doesn't really work. Nope. You know, if these are the best of the best, they're kind of sucky. 
Well, they are dead. Touche. Touche. One shot and they're dead. Ghost. Lots of them. Kill the ghosty. Kill the ghosties. Kill you the could ghosty. say they had a ghost of a chance. Icarid, bite him. You really hit the head on that one. Well, I would hate for this to be dead boring. Oh my god. Why did I let you come into the voice? You guys are really just really forcing those puns. Painful. I don't I'm think they sure. care much. I'm not sure why you invited me in, but I'm worried I'm going to be spirited away. Careful, you might make them die of laughter. <sighs> Actually, laughing does kind of hurt right now. <laughs> there are. Oh, hey, that one didn't die in the first shot. Crap. Okay. Okay. I got it. Potions. 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 And food. Can you soul trap a ghost? I don't know, but I don't have anything to do it with. This sucks. You won't get away from Wait, these poison weapons work on guys. What weapon? Wait, what? Poison weapons. That'd be really funny if they worked on guys. They probably do. Okay. I'll rip you in half. I can't go any further. Certainly the dwarven zapper is far less efficient. Why can't it go any further? Ever since Dustman's cairn, the big crawly ones have been too much for Damn. me. What? Hang on. Everyone has his weakness, and this you one should pick mine. up that ghost. I'm not proud, but I will stay back with Vilkas. It might lift your spirit. Hang on. Guys, please, when I say hang on, please don't talk. It's because I've got... I want people to be able to hear the story. Whatever bit it is. Now, what do you want me to do? Pick up a ghost. I can't. But I think it would lift your spirit. Thank you to whoever followed, by the way. Hope you enjoy these puns. Because I sure don't. Think of it as punishment. For what? That was a pun. Oh, God. I, I am a little ashamed that I didn't pick up on that. <laughs> what was that? I 
just knocked over a thing. Anyways, I'm gonna get off voice for a while because I need to take these headphones off. Okay. May or may not be back before the stream ends, but it was fun watching. Oh hey, you can at least still chat. No, that's okay, I need to actually just get away from the computer for a while. Oh, uh, fair enough. Well, thanks for joining. Thanks for having me. Bye. Comes in, does a bunch of puns, and then leaves. Spiders! Actually, he was here for a while, but still. Zim, that spider bit you. You were frostbitten. Oh my god. You're not gonna stop, are ya? No. Giant! Giant, giant spiders? Apparently. Double giant. Giant 50 foot demons! He's a demon! Oh my god, a meat pie. Yes. You know, in reality, if I had to come into this room, I'd just be like, nope, sorry guys, have fun. Unless I had an actual fireball, in which case I might come in. Seriously? Brigand Dwemer Breastplate. Yep. That is all them really heavy. Oh, That's I got really some... That's really cool, actually. It does look cool, but it is 45 pounds. Okay, we cleared them out. You're gonna come through? I never noticed how, how the crossbow, like, loads before. 
Oh. Yeah, well, I haven't I'm actually not... played a lot of the Dawn God DLC. I haven't either. I, well, then again, I haven't played much of anything on Skyrim, period. Most of what I've done has been... Oh, hey, look. Side quest. Yeah, it's, but just looking at it, it's kind of like not very, like, realistic compared to, like, how real crossbows are made, and I find that very interesting. Well, this is a dwarven crossbow that I'm using right now. It's not the regular crossbow. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because normally a crossbow, like, you have to, like, you know, reel up, but, like, that one is just, like, a pull. So it's just kind of weird. Actually, a lot of crossbows have that. It's basically a built-in crow's foot. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. But it just seems like more powerful to have the crank function to me. Like it makes it more of a thing. But that's because I'm weird and picky about certain things. I'm pretty sure the harder it is to pull back, the stronger it shoots. True. Is someone there? Because it's like a draw strength or something. Yeah, and I think that's why some of the bows would have, you know, cranks, because it's a lot easier to pull so much strength over, over 80, you know, 100 pounds of pressure. I'm pretty sure you need a lot of pressure to break, ch break chain mail, even though it's hard. Oh, you do. Chain mail is a very resilient uh, thing. Until black powder basically made all of it meaningless. Yeah. Because they started making guns and they were like, well, crap. If we make the armor thick enough to stop this, you won't be able to move. <laughs> exactly. Just look at tanks. Those things crawl along so slow. Dude, some of the modern tanks nowadays are actually pretty freaking fast. And it's freaking funny to watch tank jump over dunes. Well, nowadays, yes. Definitely an uncommon thing, though. Mm -hmm. I'll look it up. Fastest tank. One ghost after another. Buzz. Buzz, buzz. Buzzing light here.
buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Hmm. Hi. Fastest tank is around 60 miles an hour. That is pretty fast. And that was back in World War II. Wait, you want me to speak to... He's here? Good luck. Greetings, shield brother. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Alright guys, story stuff. Of course. My fellow harbingers and I have been warming ourselves here. Trying to evade you, see. You see only me because your heart knows only me as the companion's leader. I'd wager old Vignar could see half a dozen of my predecessors. And I see them all. The ones in Sovngarde. The ones trapped with me in Hearsay's realm. And they all see me. You brought honor to the name of the companions. We won't soon forget it. Did he now? I can only hope. You still have the witch's heads. Excellent. Throw one of them into the fire. It will release their magic. For me, at least. Huh? Oh, God. You know what? She's not Moon Moon. She's actually good. No sign of her. Well, yeah, because they're a ghost. Greetings, shield brother. And so slain the beast inside of me. I thank you for this gift. The other harbingers remain trapped by hearsay. Perhaps from Sovngarde. The heroes of old can join me in their rescue. The harrowing of the hunting grounds. It would be a battle of such triumph. And perhaps someday you'll join us in that battle. But for today, return to your master. Triumph in your victory. And lead the companions to further glory. Wait, I'm the boss now? Did I hear right? Did he say you were to lead the companions? Did I hear right? Did he say you were to lead the companions? I'm just surprised. But your strength and honor are apparent to all. And it's my honor to be first to address you as Harbinger. Let's go tell the others. Okay, good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I want to keep my lycanthropy. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. I want loot. Ah, there's loot. Shield of Isgramor. Ooh. I might have to start using a shield again. Yeah, that shield is rather effective. <laughs> oh, hey, I leveled up. Cool. I didn't even notice.
But like most of the stuff from the companion quests, after you get like over level 30, it becomes pretty useless. Looks cool, but uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of the problem I've noticed with a lot of these things. I think I'll do this instead. You uh, coming there, Ayala? That's got a very high armor value on it. What in the world? Do they not make any, uh, like, ground textures or shapes for the armor? Oh. I like it. All right, Moro, thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed it. I wouldn't have expected someone like you to be the harbinger, but Codlack trusted your judgment, and so will I. Yes, you brought honor to him, even after his death. A worthy outcome for a worthy warrior. Not right now. I'm going to look at some of these carvings. I wonder if Ysgramor ever set foot here while he was alive. But you don't have to stay if you don't want to. I'll see you back at the Orvaskar. Stories to tell the others, eh? Not right. But one. you don't have to stay if you don't want to. If you had told me a few months ago that some outsider I had never heard of would lead the companions, I might have slit your throat. But I've seen what you can do, and heard of the love that Kodlak had for you. The trust. Let's hope you can show that his heart was not deceived. Good luck, my friend. Okay. Mm-hmm. You've been a good friend to me. Vilkas said you're the new Kodlak. I don't know what that means, but you seem honorable, so that's good. Oh, you don't have to worry about any problems from me. I do what I'm told. Congratulations. I go where my brother goes. I think he wants to look around some more. He's not a werewolf anymore? Even dead? This is a good thing. I'm looking for work. You're my underling, but I want work. <laughs> do you have guidance for me? I've heard you may actually be stronger than you look. And you can actually marry, uh, marry a Leia. Why would, why would I want to do that? I don't know. I just thought you'd want to know. You can also <laughs> marry. There's, uh, I think there's two Argonians you can marry. 
There's no Khajiits you can marry, unfortunately. Eventually. But this, this is the tomb of Iskramor. I think I'm just going to commune for a bit. This place is worthy of some time. You go on ahead. I'll see you back there. And that's exactly what the old man wanted. I'm glad we could give it to him. I'll be honest, I wouldn't have expected it. But that may just be because I remember when you were just a whelp who was begging to join. I wasn't the old man begging. You, so I'll trust you. I was not begging. I'll take my leave then. What are you doing that for? Wait, did I just take blue thread? I did. You know, I don't really have any plans to use it. It's really awesome to just put on display. It's a really cool axe. Yeah, that's what I'll probably do. I think you can even put it back into the uh, display at the companion hall. Meh. Oh, who'd we lose? Hey, Crit? Casey? I mean, yeah, it looked like it was a, a, a Crit. However, he's pronounced his name. Ikrit. Uh, no. How much money do you have? Quigs, you're going? Oh, you're talking to Moro. Right, Quigs? I think. <laughs> okay. I was going to be shocked. You never miss any bit of a stream if you could help it. Fold. Oh, and suddenly, house. And that's why you're my number one fan. My apologies for the dagger mark in your door, but I was on my way to Whiterun and seen this homestead newly built, but not yet in her full potential. I get excited when I have a knife in my hand, but the dagger is yours for any inconvenience. You can find me in the Bannered Mare. I may have the building supplies you'll require to complete such project for a nice place to call home such as this. What? It, what? Is this something that... Uh, is this a mod or something? Yes, this is a modded... Uh, house. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what in the world? Because I've never... Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. Okay. A very, very...
very empty house. Now, can I have a steward here? Do they actually program it for that? I hope so. Not sure this is the house I want. I personally really... I, I want a house that... Because unfortunately, none of the vanilla houses have much space for putting stuff on display. And I think that's really the main reason why all of these modded houses <laughs> exist. It's because you get all this cool stuff and you want to put it on display, but there's just not enough. I mean, that sure. some really, those are some really reflective floors. Jesus. Yeah, I noticed that. Careful, don't slip. I'm the dragonborn. I'm not slipping anywhere. I don't know. There was a whole armory where you could put in all the, uh, the mannequins and stuff. Wait, what armor? Oh. No, that's still not enough. I want you... And I want to have... One... Big house for everything. I don't want to have to pick and choose and... Spread out across 30 houses. Yeah, apparently I can also cheat in a chest to give me resources for this. Which I might go ahead and do. Cheater! Hey. It's just this button I can press. Probably not, though. I don't know. I may not even keep this house. I may look for something else instead. Now, what I want to know... Well, the way I see it, I've already built one house. I don't want to have to put forth that much effort to build a second one. And it is more expensive for that house than just about any other house in the game. You should have probably just done it and then did, did not tell anyone. No, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Well, it's it's not lying if you don't say anything at all. Uh-huh. Just saying. Lead the way. Still here. What do you want me to carry? Okay, so you still have that stuff. Good. Lead, I'll follow. <sighs> We're a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. I'm sitting here like, really? This guy, he lost his, uh, he lost the armor that I got for him? Really? But no. They, they change armor sometimes. Because of their, uh, like their, what is the word? Their schedule uh, programming. They change yeah. armor and stuff all the time. Well, most of them don't, actually. Well, because most of them don't have other sets of armor. I've got your back. All right, what is it? What do you need? Can't do that. Sorry. Anything else? Hey, Quiggs, do me a favor and see if I can set a steward for this house.
I've got your back. Let's get going then. There were a lot of really awesome houses in available for regular Skyrim, but so far the only one that I've found that's still available is the Skyfall Estate. Skyfall Estate. That's what the mod is. Skyfall! I may give myself back the 10,000 gold if I don't like this, so... Well, I definitely will if I don't like it, but... I'll give it a shot for a, moment, for a bit at least. Oh yeah, somebody f followed me. I gotta go see who. Hearts of Glass. Well, thank you for the follow. I think I want to go down and follow the river, actually. Because she seems to be at the other end of this river here. And of course there'd be waterfalls to stop me. Super horse! And of course, let's not forget my super riding skill of awesomeness! Get up there. I'm gonna go across.
Alright. What the heck is this? Move along. This doesn't concern you, friend. Yay! You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. You think mud crabs might have taken it? Saw it ah. day. Yeah. I oh. well, just look around, <clears throat> you? Yeah. Never should have come here. It didn't run off. No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Vampires. Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, this one is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. We need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Good day. Okay, so supposedly she had a satchel that the mud crab stole. I'm sure I could convince her without it, but meh. I'm gonna look around again a bit, and then if I don't find it, then I'll just convince her.
Ooh, silver ore. Alright, fair enough. Thank you, Quigs. Oh, it's a sound from, uh, it's a sound from, uh, Zelda and Link to the Past, uh, that I have since made into my sound effect whenever somebody sends me a message on Telegram. Ah. Uh. There is a hole in that rock. Well then. There's her satchel. I hope. Just one gyro. One, and I can get. I understand. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Alright then. Alright, so she's finally taken care of. Now... Back to my house. <laughs> Are you talking about that sound effect? I have to go and get ready for my stream tonight, so I will see you later. Okay. Well, thank you for joining. It was lots of fun, as <laughs> always. All right. See ya.
Aha! Here's a plaque I can put it in. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. All right, store a few things, then I head over back to the Fort Dawn Guard. Yeah, I got stuff to store out here. Oh, now I can take those out of my inventory. Don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I guess I'll just store them there for now. Actually, on second thought... I'm going to go take care of that Blades quest real quick. I think Where it'll be quick. Climbing back and we'll be off. You ready to go yet? Oh, hold your freaking horse. Pardon me. Was I in your way? No, you weren't. I hope someday we'll get to know each other better. My 
Pa used to say, there ain't no use worrying about the things you can't change. If it's my fate to be ended by a dragon, so be it. Meantime, I'll live my life the way I want to. Sometimes the difference between life and death is a swift steep. All right, south to Kynes Grove. And suddenly snow. No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking. Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Well, there she is. Lord and dies. Look at that big bastard. Keep your head down. Let's see what it does. Oh, I want my Zappa. Okay. Oh, that was a close call. Dragonborn. Yeah. 
I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. The problem is that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Delphine's secret door key. All right. I think I am going to call it for now. Go grab myself some dinner. Um, I will probably stream some Civilization 6 after dinner. Otherwise, thank you all very much for joining. I hope you all had fun. Uh, definitely really appreciate all of you watching, and I will see you all next time. Uh, as far as when I'll be streaming Skyrim next, uh, probably not until Sunday or early either tomorrow or Saturday. Alright, 
See ya.